Hello and welcome back for another saxophone tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. So I'm going to play C1 in the saxophone grade 3 book and this is called Driving Sax. A kind of a, a rhythmic gritty study to be played with a hard rock sound. So I'm going to play it through and, and then I'm going to give a little short tutorial on the detail of the music and show you what you need to do to make this sound really awesome. Here we go, hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so you've heard the music, let's say a few words about the detail and what you need to do to make this sound really great. Now, a colleague mentioned to me at a school that I work at that he hated this piece and it, and, uh, and it was really annoying. I think you either love this one or you hate it. It's one of those tunes, isn't it? <clears throat> I think this is all right. I think this is quite a good study to do. Now, I, I like this study for those players that, you know, that just play too quietly all the time and you jumping up and down, come on, play it out, play it out. I think this is a great study for those pupils that just play too quietly all the time. So get your, get your saxophone out and make sure you play this with a really raucous, big, aggressive sound. Now, one of the other features I like about this piece is those offbeat accents and those extra little bits that you can put on there. So I really like, um, here we go, bar eight, nine, and 10 around there. So we've got, see if you can have fun really picking out those accents and really differentiating those from the other notes. So. So really go for that. I, I don't think you can do that too much. Um, really bring it out it, it creates a really sort of great rhythmic feel to it and then we're back to that lovely tune and then we're back to that um, and then there's a bit more of that detail on the bottom line as well um, I'll just play that bottom line on its own with the accents. So, as I said before, a great study for punching out some sound. And I think that's what you want in an exam, isn't it? I, I think when you go into an exam, you're playing to someone unfamiliar, you're going to be a bit nervous. And the last thing you want to do is play some really quiet kind of um it's just so much harder to play some quite delicate little piece i think it's better to just kind of have those pieces where you can really play it out and just play like kind of over the top of your nerves okay so i'm going to do a practice track for you to play along with now i'm going to play it at crotchet equals 88 which is a fair bit under tempo and see if you can play this along with me get your bluetooth speaker out and your saxophone Play along with me and just see if you can play it really in time at a slightly steady speed. Here we go. Okay, so I'll give you one, two, three, four, and then we're in. A one, two, three, four.
Okay, I hope you found that useful. I think if you can play it at that speed with the metronome, it shouldn't be too hard to just boost up the speed a little bit when it's a bit nearer to the exam and get it really accurate. Okay, I think that's it for driving sax. So I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. If you did, of course, make sure you've clicked that like button and don't even think about going away without leaving me a complimentary comment in the comment section. But that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.